Hello folks, it's the start of the week and I'm Michael Burhan coming to you with another Top 5. Today, let's talk about the one and only Incredible Hulk. He's one of my favourite characters from the Marvel Universe and I'm going to give you my Top 5 versions of the Incredible Hulk. Number 5, the Red Hulk. The Red Hulk, otherwise known as Rolk, was introduced in 2008 and it was in the rebranded Hulk 1. The Red Hulk was created to be an uninhibited, tactically intelligent adversary to the Hulk and apparently it was first pitched by writer Kenneth Johnson who created the 1970s TV series with Bill Bixby. The initial concept for this version of the Red Hulk was actually done by editor-in-chief Joe Quesada and it was written by Jeff Loeb and art by Ed McGuinness. The Hulk had become something of a super intelligent and uber aggressive Hulk who would basically do everything that Bruce Banner and his Hulk would never do. He killed the Abomination and from one word go destroyed S.H.I.E.L.D. when after proving to Banner that he was the strongest one there is. He didn't just manipulate Banner, he went out of his way to prove to him that he was far inferior. Now the Red Hulk is covered from Hulk Volume 2 Issue 1 from the 2009 to 2011 run written by Lib. Number 4, Mr. Fix-It, aka Joe Fix-It. He was introduced in Hulk 324 and which returned the Hulk to his initial grey colouring and was kind of a different type of Hulk than the original. He came out only at night and was morally ambiguous. He was a Las Vegas enforcer who does things his way. He was tough, intelligent and did not care either way for anyone or anything. He was a polar opposite of the Green Hulk but was later merged into one being when Hulk and Banner merged their identities into one. What I love about the character is that he was different from the original Hulk. He seemed childlike whereas Fix-It had the personality that brought an impressive edge to the character that was never seen before. You can find Joe Fix-It covered in Hulk 323 to 324 respectively. Number 3 the maestro. What happens when the Hulk goes rogue and decides that he wants to rule the world? Well, then you have the maestro. He comes from the story Future Imperfect and was created by Peter David and artist George Perez. The maestro possesses Bruce Banner's intelligence and he's more of a kind of a malevolent kind of Hulk. Maestro is insane as he looks to rule the world with an iron fist and has appeared in many stories including the run of Secret Wars and was made obsolete when the Marvel timeline merged into the all new all different Marvel. By far one of my favourite iterations of the character as he's arrogant to a fault and far superior than his counterpart and believes in he believes it so. This is what would happen if the Hulk went completely out of control. Like so far right it would destroy everything and anything in his sight. So if you want to check out Future Imperfect you can do by reading Hulk Future Imperfect issues 1 and 2. Number 2. Amadeus Cho, the all new different Hulk. Well, what kind of a top five list would it be if you didn't have Amadeus Cho in there? He became the Hulk in the all new, all different Marvel in the totally awesome Hulk series. He was prior to that. Cho was kind of a mainstay in the Hulk and Incredible Hercules series and he was created by Greg Pak. Cho was super intelligent boy genius who had resounding knowledge and basically had an act for tech. He was always around Bruce Banner in his endeavors in regards to saving the world and just kicking ass. The transition made sense as it brought a whole new element to the character and allowed us to see a more different side of Cho and a well a more different side of Hulk. Now the story is still ongoing as Cho slowly loses control and you can see a lot more of the old Hulk coming out of the character so it's a very different take on the character and it's something very new and very inventive thanks to the writer Greg Pak. Now if you want further reading on the character you can do by checking out Totally Ocean Hulk 1 by Greg Pak and Takashi Miyazawa. And finally number one Old Man Hulk Hulk the end. If you've never read the comic Hulk the end then what are you doing with your life? Seriously. Old Man Hulk along with Banner are basically the only living persons on the planet. The Hulk is kind of struggling with Banner as he wants to live and Banner wants to die. We watch as Banner slowly devolves into kind of a suicidal depression attempting to kill himself countless times as the Hulk saves him. We watch as the Hulk hopeless clings to life because he just wants to spite his counterpart. It's an amazing tale and it makes this character so interesting because it's someone that we can all kind of see ourselves in. The element of that character as you can see what would you do if you were the last living being on the world fighting with yourself because you were just lonely. So for future reading check out Hulk the End written by Peter David and art by Dale Kiwan. Now always guys you can check out these issues by going on Google heading to your next comic book stores of course to see if you can purchase these issues from there or you can also download these comics digitally via like marvel.com of course. Now that's it from me and Tell me what your favourite iteration of the Hulk is. Is there anything that I've missed out in terms of the top five list? Do you agree? Do you disagree? And as remember guys, these videos are constantly here for discussion. So we want to hear your views, want to hear your side. And that's it from me and I will see you again for another video tomorrow.